Hey there, home theater fans. This is Todd with AVNirvana.com, and we are at Cedia 22 in Dallas, Texas, and we are finishing our show coverage by checking out this just awesome technology. It's planar. These are, I guess you'd call them large LED wall screens? Video walls. Yeah. Video walls. Uh, okay, so these, the one directly behind me here is 198 inches. Uh, you've got another large one on the other side. Yeah, so this is, uh, we've been coming to Cedia for years, uh, obviously gone the last couple, but this year we decided to come back with uh, the most product, I should say, we've ever had in our booth. Uh, so we have multitudes of LED video walls here, and uh, this, we have all sorts of shapes and sizes that you can dream up, but kind of the big focus at this show is we brought uh, a 205-inch .9 micro LED video wall in a cinemascope aspect ratio for all the home theater nerds. Uh, and yeah, so we've got products ranging the entire gamut of direct view LED uh, down to you know the tens of thousands all the way up to the half a million uh, right here in the booth. Which is the one on the other side there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, these video walls uh, in our Lux family contain a lifetime warranty and include everything the customer needs to run the video wall. So the processing, the cabling, uh, they have built-in video wall tiling, uh, and these products also feature a lifetime warranty, which is unprecedented in right. the industry. Right. So white glove service from purchase, yep. getting it into your home, mm -hmm. and you're treated to a dazzling show. I mean, the, the, the output of brightness on the, the uh, wall on the other side there is insane. Yeah, so we're actually running it at a little bit more than half brightness. Uh, that 0.9 micro I mentioned is capable of 1,600 nits sustained. It's not a peak brightness. It can do that all day, every day. Uh, we're running it at 1,000 nits. Uh, the low end of brightness, our LED walls do 600 nits sustained, which is what we have behind me here. Uh, something else we brought to the show, and, and we've been doing this for years, some of these products launched in the last six months or even as a year and a half ago. Uh, but this is now a lot of these people's first chance to see it with their own eyes who don't normally get to see it. But we're also debuting at the show our first fine pitch outdoor LED video wall. We've been in the outdoor space for years, uh, but normally it's more like big, you know, billboard size type things. Uh, but now we have uh, high res. Indo uh, out, high res outdoor, so it is actually you know attainable and usable for normal normal uh, okay. normal size houses. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And that outdoor uh, wall has brightness that far exceeds the uh, the 16, 1800 nit. Yeah. The, uh, so this is called the Luminate Pro series, uh, and the one we have here at the show is a 1.5 millimeter pitch, 3300 nits. 3300 nits. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, not many TVs are hitting that. If they do, they're claiming it as their brief burst peak. <laughs> right. uh, and we're talking all the time, all every day, competing right. with the sun. Uh, and we're running it at 1,000 nits, a little over 1,000 nits here at the show because uh, you know we're trying to avoid migraine-inducing brightness to our poor neighbors. So, For sure. For sure. Um, you were telling me that the, the indoor versions are frameless, uh, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, so all of our fine pitch LEDs uh, are under four inches install depth, which you can kind of see behind me. Uh, front access, front service, they, they all get installed from the front. Uh, we include with these video walls spare modules. So in case there's a, uh, the rare occurrence of a dead pixel or maybe some kids throw a controller at the screen, all of that can be replaced and repaired in the field. And those repairs, if it's a failure on our part, is covered under that warranty. Right. There's no fans, they are dead quiet, and uh, yeah, that's even running 24-7. Very little heat at all getting close to the screen, as far as I could tell. Relatively speaking. Relatively so, speaking. Uh, when you're talking about a display this bright, uh, the heat can be proportionate to how bright they are, but to get the same amount of light output out of an alternative video technology, uh, first of all, those kind of brightness levels aren't even possible, but even to get close to that, those devices put out more heat, uh, you know, usually away from the wall right. projection, right. but really bright projectors put out a ton of heat just they do. somewhere else right. and are loud usually. Over top of your head, right. Yeah. Loud fan. 
Yeah. So yeah, these are dead quiet, fanless, and we're talking 24-7, all the time running, if you want them to be that way. And before we go, um, we were having a conversation about the different kinds of micro LEDs. And I found it really interesting uh, because a lot of people look at these giant walls. There's the, you know, various other competitors of yours have giant walls. And um, I was aware that there was that much variation, both in terms of performance, which makes sense, but also price and how that picks up. And the giant uh, cinema wall um, you're saying is basically the top shelf micro you just a quick run of kind of how that yeah. world works? Okay. Uh, so I'll try. Learning all the ins and outs of LED, we always describe it as the wild, wild west. There's a lot to learn. But in general, and we're constantly evolving and introducing new stuff, we're always on the cutting edge. We always, we tend to always introduce the tightest pitch before everybody else. So because we are the leader of this uh, technology, we do it all on our own. The At any given pitch, outside of the cutting edge, but when you're talking about like 0.9 millimeter and 1.2 millimeter, which are the most popular, there are different types of LEDs and they have a different range of price. And what the customer is likely to see in the difference between those is the brightness and to a lesser extent, the color and contrast. And so a 0.9 LED at the, at the sharp edge of that for performance and price is micro LED, which we do, and there's different types of micro LED, but that's a conversation for another day. Uh, but uh, there's also what's considered a, uh, the more affordable LED in point nine, which is uh, called a surface mount device. Uh, and those tend to run at a lower brightness, but still very bright, 600 nits all the time sustained. Sure. And a, so you may have two walls that both say they're point nine, and one costs half the price of the other. And one of our strengths as a company is we do it all. So uh, instead of having one or two video, uh, LED video walls uh, and it either meets your needs or it doesn't, because this is our industry, it's what we do, it's the only thing we do, we have a wide, 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 wide range of LED video wall products and prices. Yo, so uh, so look, look, listen, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to tell us about these. These panels are amazing. These walls are just gorgeous. Um, of course, these folks out here have seen a couple pictures of while we've been talking. But um, yeah, thanks for bringing this here. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. My pleasure. All right, folks, that's all we have from Cedia 2022. Uh, check out our channel for more about what we've seen here, and uh, we'll catch you over on the forum.